Kia ora, I'm Alvi. Um, today I will be reviewing the special edition Random G- Grey from um, Schmincke Hortum. Um, I've got all the information over here. It's granulating. And yeah, it's it's definitely watercolour. Um, pretty excited to try it out. It's 2022 edition. Um, there's some just stuff about it. Um, it doesn't have any pink pigment information because it's, you know, all the random pigments left over just mixed into one colour. So, um, it's just going to be fun to try. This whole page is just going to be a swatch of it just to see how well it granulates. And then a little portrait over there. I'll just grab some paint out. I've got this little ceramic dish and then... Here we go. Just grab a little bit out. I grabbed quite a lot out, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so swatching time. So I just have this random brush from a set I got a while ago, and I'll use quite a lot of water for it, but I'm interested to see what colours it kind of separates out to. So, a lot of water will be used. It's already kind of separating. I'm not sure how opaque it can go, so I guess we'll find that out together. Um, yeah. Look at it, it's got quite a, definitely granulating, lots of different colours in it, looks pretty nice. I decided to clip it down just because it was pooling quite a lot with all the water. Um, this is just um, a random watercolour sketchbook, it's kind of thick, maybe about, I'm not sure, but not 100% cotton. Wow. Looks pretty, pretty. <laughs> um, I got this off Jackson's website, if anyone's curious. And it came in this cute little box. It's a 15 milliliter tube as well. On to the portrait. <laughs> We're going to attempt this. I haven't done a portrait in a while. I'm not known for my portraiture, but that's okay. This is just for fun. <laughs> Looks so pretty. It's definitely going to be a texture filled painting <laughs> with all the granulation. Um, definitely wouldn't sell any paintings with this colour in it just because you don't know the light fastness in it and what pigments were actually used in it. So yeah, I'd say stick to just self-use, self-experimentation, but definitely worth just playing around with, like, especially if you want to try some granulation or just, yeah, because it's a great way to just see how granulation works if you just want one tube and, I don't know. The reason I got it, I was like, oh, wow, that's such a cool idea. Instead of wait, like throwing out all the paint, creating one tube with it, like some tubes of paint and selling it instead of just throwing it away. And so I think that's a great idea because that, yeah, helps the environment a lot <laughs> is my thought process anyway. This is just a quick sketch if you can tell. Um, I've got work later, so I don't want to been too long on it but I also don't want to rush it too much if anyone's curious this paintbrush it came with like the Reeves watercolor set I did a review on that um, earlier in the year if anyone's curious <laughs> and it's a pretty good paintbrush considering it was quite a cheap set 
so always always nice to have just a good paintbrush that doesn't shed <laughs> and just does what paintbrushes are meant to do yeah definitely see a lot of that granulation coming through now and especially on the page opposite I'm not sure how dark you can build this up to be because it's grey not like a dark black or anything like Mars black or something like that but I'll test that out I guess and the granulation into like what colour they separate it separates out to be is quite random so I could use a smaller paintbrush, but I don't really want to. I just want this to be a quick sketch. And yeah, I think this is a nice little monochromatic piece to try out. I don't have a reference or anything, so I'm just assuming. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, this color looks like it could work here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not my forte portraits. So here's me kind of just trying to build it up. You can get it kind of dark, but not, mm, not too dark. But that's all right. It definitely feels like like a professional paint from Schmincke Horton. They never disappoint, so <laughs> not surprised. It's a beautiful paint. It is slightly opaque, um, if that matters to you, but to me I don't really mind, unless like I put a pen outline underneath, but I can always go over the pen later if it really becomes an issue. But definitely fun to do like little sketches and studies in, because it removes you having to get accurate colours and allows you to just get a sketch right but also allows you to still have some texture and colours in it in the granulation just makes it interesting you know instead of just using like a lamp black or something for just a watercolour study hmm Hmm, I don't think this is getting much better. Yeah, sometimes it's just good to leave it, come back to it, 
and move on even if it's not amazing it's still being fun to just sketch and work on something I usually don't work on so this is just a quick little sketch you can definitely see the granulation coming through where I've used more water and it can get a little dark for it and quite light as well um, the main pigments I see in my grey is like a it shifts quite blue in some areas and quite orange or red in other areas so yeah I guess every grey would be different because every grey will have random pigments in it and pigment amounts and stuff but overall it's quite fun I mean definitely something to just enjoy using definitely see the separating pigments here so yeah I definitely recommend this to people that just want to try try it and have a nice little color to do monochromatic sketches with um, you can also just mix it with other colors I reckon yeah definitely like it and it's just I think it's a great use of the old paints just making a random gray pigment it's lovely and it's quite fun <laughs> so yeah hope this helped um personally i paid about 30 new zealand dollars for it from jackson um it will vary and yeah until then hope this was fun and enjoyable to watch and have a good day